Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this stitch. It's a beautiful stitch, as you can see, it's very easy to make it. They have the form of the flowers, they come with the form of flower. You can make it with only one color. I, I prefer to use many colors for the, for the flowers. Um, hope that you try it. We start by making the chains. Chains you make depending on how large how large the project is going to be. Now here you have written half treble, half double crochet. Don't take any notice of that. That's a mistake. Don't take any notice. We start the first row by making a single crochet or double crochet, depending how you call it, in every chain that we have. So you make a single crochet or double crochet. Single, single crochet is American. Um, double crochet is English. I prefer to use, I always use the English version. Um, but for those who use the American, it's single crochet. And you continue all the row like that, doing a single crochet or double crochet in every chain that you have. That is the first row. So the first row is ready, as you can see. Now we're going to start the second row. We do a chain, start with a chain, and we're going to do the same. A whole row, single crochet, or double crochet, as I told you, depending how you call it, in every one of these. And like this row, you have to make another row. So in all, you have to have three rows. Single. Cr you start with a chain, you have to make this row and another row. So in all, you have to have three rows, single crochet or double crochet. Now we're going to change the color. I'm going to start with the green. The green is the leaves, are the leaves. So we start with three chains. One, two, three. I don't cut the thread. I prefer to leave it there. We start with three chains, as I told you. You skip two, two single crochet. You skip them. You skip one. First you skip one. And you do a treble or double crochet how you call it you do a chain and another treble in the same place where you made the last one now we're going to skip two tre two single crochet and in the third one we're going to do the same we're going to do a treble so we skipped two now we do a treble a chain and another treble in the same place these are the leaves Again, we're going to skip two. One, two, and the third one. We do a treble or double crochet, a chain, and another treble in the same place. You have to continue all the row like that, like we're doing now. You skip another two. In the third one, you do a treble, a chain, and another treble in the same place. As I told you, these are the leaves, so this you always have to use them green. You continue all the row like that. Now the row is ready as you can see, and we're going to finish in the last one, and we're going to finish with a treble, or double crochet, depending how you call it. And that is the row of the leaves re ready, as you can see. Now we're going to change color. I'm going to use the pink now. Um, as I told you, the flowers, you can use them or the same color. You can change the colors, but always the, the leaves better that you leave them all green. And we start with four chains. One, two, three, and four. Now, we go in between the first leaves here. And we're going to do four trebles. But the last stitch, we leave it on the hook, like this. We're going to make four. One. Two. Three. And four. And then, we slip them all together, like this. We make two chains, one and two. We go in the next one, the next one petal two petals and we do another four one that is the part of the flowers the flower two three 
and four and we slip them we slip the four it all together we make another two chains one and two and we're going to do the same between the petals four trebles we leave the last stitch on the hook one two three and four and we slip them together another two chains one and two and we're going to do the same four trebles we leave the last stitch on the hook one two three and four and we slip them all together and you continue all the row like that the row is ready as you can see now we're going to finish it we, we finish with a chain and we do a treble or double crochet in the chains of before and that is the row ready as you can see now we're going to start again from the with the cream color we're going to start to making these again we have to make three rows single crochet or double crochet depending how you call it as I told you start with a chain pull the, the, the yarn over the top now we go here in the chain and we do a single crochet or double crochet we started with a chain and single crochet in the first one now here where we have the flower we're going to make one single crochet where we have the flower one single crochet now where there are the chains you will make two single crochet so two single crochet where we have the chains another single crochet on the flower and two single crochets in the chains we always continue like that two in the chains and one in the flower single crochet or double crochet now like this row then we have to make another two rows we finish this row then another two rows single crochet or double crochet like we did in the beginning you continue like that here you make three rows like this and this is how it comes now after these three rows you start again with the leaves with the green we finish these three rows and you start again with the leaves with the green ones you start again with the green ones and then with the flower the flower depends if you want it pink or orange you can change the colors um, and then after the the flower again three rows three rows single crochet or double crochet and this is the result how the, how the stitch comes as you have seen it was not difficult to make i use many colors but you can use for the flower only one color if you like um, I prefer to use many colors um, hope that you found this video useful and that you try it bye for now